And finally, I would like to call Osama Abu Rashad. For, he is a representative of the American Muslims for Palestine. Thank you. Good afternoon. As human beings, as Muslims, and on behalf of the organization that I represent, the American Muslims for Palestine, we strongly condemn the barbaric and the vicious crimes, not only one crime, the vicious crimes that have been and are still being committed by the so-called Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. There is nothing Islamic about this organization. This organization is purely evil. And we should have no misconceptions when it comes to the nature of this organization. This organization does not speak for Muslims. This organization does not represent a valid and a legitimate interpretation of Islam. So it shouldn't be treated or dealt with as one of the interpretations or one of the representations of Islam. It has nothing, has no roots within Islam. It is purely criminal, purely evil, purely terrorist enterprise. It had, it ha, it's, it's kill, it kills more Muslims than non-Muslims. Whoever does not agree with their ideology is a legitimate target to them. Even those who are firing with them today and then who decide or they discover the true nature of this organization and decide to flee, they are being killed by this organization. They're killing other extremist organizations like Al-Qaeda. So it's not only that they're killing non-Muslims, it's not only they're killing fighters like the Jordanian pilot, they're calling, killing even innocent people who have nothing to do with anything other than that they had the bad luck to be under their control. So we should not call them Islamic. Also, the Quran is very clear. As uh, my brother uh, Sayyid, when he referred to the verse in the Quran where the Almighty tells us clearly that if any person serves a single innocent life, it is as if he saved all humanity. And if any person kills a single or, or kills a single innocent life, it is as if he killed all humanity. So these people are killing innocent lives as if they killed all humanity, according to teachings of our religion. And when they save, or if we save a single life, it is as if we are saving all humanity, being Muslims, non-Muslims, being Arabs, non-Arabs, it, it makes no difference here. Also in the traditions of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, he tells us clearly that the Almighty prescribed benevolence towards everything. These people do not show benevolence and do not show the true essence of Islam, which is the essence of humanity. Finally, I will join uh, uh, my brother, uh, uh, Mr. Awad, when he called on our administration to help eradicate this cancer. It is in our best interest. It is in our national security interest. And the people of that part of the world should not be given a choice between tyranny and between extremism and terrorism. They should not be given that choice. Tyranny is the other face of the coin, of the same, of the same terrorism that we see there. And that part of the world need peace now. That's what we need. This administration started with an agenda to advance peace in that part of the world. It is past due now. We have to get to that point. We have to eradicate this cancer. And we also have to make sure that we don't have any reasons for any organization, for any individual, to claim that he speaks on the name of the, in the name of the oppressed. It is the masses of that part of the world who speak in the name of the oppressed when they are facing their tyrants and when they are facing such extreme and terrorist organizations like ISIS that does not again represent Islam and humanity. And thank you.